everyone welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing really well as you can tell by the title of this video i am going to be sharing with you my autumn wish list if you watched my last video like this you will already know the format but basically i am going to be delving into my google chrome wish list and just sharing with you everything that i have open on my tabs at the minute something i really like to do is write a list of things that i am thinking of buying maybe it's things that i think i need in my wardrobe or at home products i want to try literally anything i write it down but recently i've started actually opening a google chrome window and opening the tabs so that i can actually see everything all at once and then i can either place the orders when i want to or go and see them in store and it just means that I'm not impulse buying and I'm spending a lot longer on deciding whether I want these purchases or not. And it is so great. I'm actually thinking so much more about what I'm buying. I'm not wasting money and I really recommend doing it. So I thought we could just dive into my Google Chrome, have a look at the tabs that I've got open and yeah, I'll just share some pieces with you. So I've got my laptop here. I am just about to share my screen and then I will share everything with you. So, okay, first things first, I have this beanie from Celine. I absolutely love this. And actually, these are things that I wear non-stop in winter when it's really cold, like end of autumn, winter, when it's really cold, I always have a beanie on all the time. They are just so great. They keep you so warm. And I just think they are a really nice accessory to add to your outfit especially when you have like a big coat on. I just think they look really nice. I've had my eye on this one for a while. I think I saw it last winter and loved it. Um, I think I might have seen it on Flavia, I'm not sure. But I just love this, so I definitely think I'm gonna be purchasing this. This is quite an expensive one. It's 395 pounds, which is a lot of money for a hat. But I think cost per wear, I will wear this for so long. It will never go out of style because it's so classic. It's such an easy colour to slot into my wardrobe and I just love it. I also wear hats all the time in winter so I definitely will get my cost per wear, for sure. Next up I have these trainers from New Balance. I've been on the hunt for a pair of trainers for a while that are really neutral, a little bit sporty but I can also wear them in the day, quite casual because I don't actually really have any trainers. I've got my Chloe ones but they're quite smart and I don't want to get them ruined. I also have my Chanel trainers which are quite sporty but they're also really nice so I don't ever want to get them ruined. So I just needed a pair that were a little bit more of a cheaper price point but still really nice and on par with my style. So I saw these and I absolutely love them. I really like the colourways that they've included in here, like the colour palettes on the whole trainers are just so me. Really neutral, earthy kind of tones, I just love them. And for £120, I think that's quite good for a pair of trainers. The next tab I have open is from Arquette, this wool blend jacket. I love this. I actually saw this on Pinterest a while ago and I went on Arquette to find it and it's still in stock. They've got loads of sizes, so I think I'm going to be picking this up. I absolutely love it. I can already think of so many ways I would style this, even just going out for... A walk or going on errands like super simple if you chucked this jacket on with leggings knee-high boots like riding boots it would just look so chic I also think this goes really nicely with like my countryside life because check jackets and like that collar are very in so yeah I absolutely love this I think it's gorgeous next up Reese I absolutely love wearing smart tailored trousers it's all I wear in autumn winter when it's cold and I want to be comfortable so I'm always opting for like a tailored trouser that I'll layer up and put tights underneath and all of that stuff so I've really wanted a new pair of black tailored trousers um, I do have a pair from Reese that I picked up recently but they're like a jogger style so they've got a drawstring waist which I love I will link them below because I am in love with those trousers they are so comfortable and they look so, so smart. They also fit really well because they've got such a good range of size. So um, I just love them. I would like a pair that maybe have belt loops that I could put my belt on with and just a little bit smarter. So I think I'm going to pick up these. They do petite as well, which is amazing because that means they are shorter leg length for me. They do size four, size six. So really, really good for me because I am a small. 
So I think I'm gonna get these and see how they are and I will keep you posted in vlogs coming up. Okay, I know I've already got this jacket, I know, but the dark gray is still in stock on Netaporter. I got the size 34 in my beige one and it is still in stock on Netaporter. So I have got this tab open. I did have the beige and the dark gray tabs open for a while. Um, I'm probably not gonna get it. I just want the tab open so I can look at it. And if it goes out of stock, then I physically can't get it. So it's fine. <laughs> I just, I like having the tab open so I can see it. And I just absolutely love this jacket so much. I want it in every single color, but it's gorgeous. But yeah, I'm not gonna buy this. I just like having the tab open. Okay, moving into homeware. Zara, I really cannot wait to, in the next couple of weeks, start migrating the things in our apartment over to more cozy autumnal vibes. I think I'm going to wait till possibly the end of next week, maybe the week after, just so we're right into September and I can start changing out my candles, changing out flowers, blankets, cushions, just all of that stuff and making it feel really, really cozy. Um, I have got quite a few ideas of how I want to just kind of like decorate the place. I'm not really going to be changing loads. I just want to add a few little pieces because when we moved in here, it was January and I was so excited for spring. I just spent January and February. Basically, we had no furniture. We were sleeping on the sofa, so I wasn't really decorating anything. And then by the time we started getting things in, it was spring. So I was just flowers, light colours fresh smells, roses, all of that stuff. So I'm very excited for autumn, winter this year. I cannot wait to decorate. So that being said, I would really like to get some more vases because I don't actually have that many. I think I've got like three or two, two or three. So I would like to get a few more that I can do really gorgeous displays in. So this one I absolutely love. I am actually quite tempted to go to TK Maxx and buy just like any old vase that's quite cheap in this size and then um, do my own like plaster and paint situation because I find it so easy to do and it's really effective and I've done it quite a few times and it looks really good. So I am quite tempted to do that myself, but we shall see. This is only 40 pounds. So by the time I buy the vase and spend the time doing it, I could have just bought this. But yeah, I love this. I think it's gorgeous, really, really chic and minimal and with a vase, I think it's important to make sure the top of it suits how you would want your flowers to be displayed. So this is really nice because you could actually get quite a lot of stems in here and you can bulk up the bottom if your flowers are too short. So yeah, I love this. Oh my God, I also absolutely love this. One thing I have been really loving over the last few months is tall candlesticks. I just think they look so cool. And I have a lot of lovely candles, as you can see behind me. Um, I always end up getting candles as gifts because I just love them and you can never have too many candles. Diptyque um, by Rado, Molten Brown are some of my favourite brands. But buying just single wax candles is so much cheaper when you are burning candles quite a lot, which I do. I love doing my evening routine, like lighting a few candles in the autumn, it's just so cosy. And it's really just part of my day. So I really wanted to get some more candlestick holders that were small, because I have quite a lot of candelabra ones, but they're quite big, so you can't really have them on the table or kind of in the way, they're quite obstructive. So um, I've been looking for a few more and I just love this one. It's so cute, very me, and yeah, I just love it. 12.99, really good, there we go, you can see how it looks. I just love it, I think it's so nice. So I think I will be purchasing this. Next up is a little piece of furniture. I think this is a really good price, $79.99 for a marble side table. I think Millie has these with the black legs. I'm sure I saw her do a video of it and they looked really gorgeous. One thing that I've noticed about our apartment is I like to have things that aren't really fixed in place that I can just move around and use wherever I need it. For example, like on the sofa just in front of me, we don't have a coffee table like to the right, we only have the one in the middle. So if somebody wants to like sit and have a drink next to them, you kind of need a table so you're not like reaching forward all the time. This would be amazing. Also in the bathroom, when I have a bath, I always have really long baths in autumn, winter. So I always bring my laptop, I watch something, I maybe bring a glass of wine or like a tea. So it's nice to have a little table to put that on so I could just move it in there. 
So I think I'm going to get this because it looks gorgeous and I just think it's really practical to have. Moving on to H&M. Blankets is one thing that I honestly cannot live without in autumn. I think they are such a must have. So I really want to inject a little bit more warmth in our living room, in our bedroom and the guest room. So I've been looking at a few different blankets that are brown, tan, those kind of shades. I love this one. It's also a great price, £40. Wool blend. I love H&M home blankets. I think they're really good. I've had quite a few in the past. Another blanket that I love, I'm thinking for our bedroom to really inject some like dark chocolatey brown colours, a little bit like this sideboard behind me, especially on our bed. So I really wanted to get a wool throw to put on the end and I love this one that I found online from Nordic Nest. It's so gorgeous. This colour is just exactly what I'm imagining. Also this blanket I really like as well from John Lewis. This is such a nice colour. It's more of like a muted ashy brown but yeah again just a simple blanket. Okay moving on to Amazon. I am having like a bit of a autumn organizing moment at the minute i think because i did my wardrobes recently and did my wardrobe switch over and sorted them all out it's really inspired me to just do the entire house of cupboards so i want to get everything really sorted like the laundry cupboard our kitchen cupboards we've got um a cupboard by the door which is just full of stuff so i just want everything to be really nice and organized so I've just filled up my basket literally last night with some bits that I want to get. So I want to get some more storage jars. I already have these and they are so good. I put all of our like coffee, tea, pastas and things like that in them. So I'm going to get some more of those. And also I had a really good idea for space saving storage. We don't have a lot of room in our apartment. We have a lot of stuff and not a lot of storage room. So although we have cupboards, they're kind of filled up, like we've got the washing machine in one cupboard, the boiler in the other cupboard, and then there's not much space to put things. So I had the idea of getting these hanging shelves. One of them I'm going to hang up above the washing machine because we've got a rail. So I'm going to hang it up on there and then I can put all the bedding in there that's freshly washed, clean towels, everything's nice and organised and fresh and ready. And then the other one I'm going to put on the back of the door like inside the cupboard and then I can put miscellaneous things that are in our coat cupboard. We've got loads of tools and just like so many random things. So I can just fill this up and put them all in there and I think that's gonna be so handy. I'm gonna order these and then I will include it in a vlog and show you like my autumn organizing. I'm also going to order these vacuum bags. Nadia has these for her like wardrobe switchover and she said they are amazing and they take up literally no room so i definitely need these for my summer stuff so i think i'm gonna order these i think you get five in a pack which is so good for 11 pounds and i can sort out all my summer stuff properly i've washed it all and it's all sorted but it's just in like really bulky big bags so this is going to save a lot of space back over to zara another blanket i absolutely love these faux fur blankets they are so soft and snuggly so I wanted to get one to put on the sofa. I really love this colour as well. It's called Natural. Okay, moving over to Beauty. Just a few products that I've been thinking about trying recently. Um, I've used this before and I love it, so I just really want to get another one. The Way uh, Medium Hair Shampoo and the Conditioner. They smell amazing. They work really well. I just love hair products, so I'm quite excited to get those again. I also absolutely love this body scrub. I've had this um, before and it's incredible. So I just want to get another top up of that. Over to Byredo. This is kind of in keeping with like my autumn refresh of the house. I just wanted to get a few nice smelling bits and bobs for the bathroom, the house, because we spend so much time here over autumn, winter. It's just so nice to make it feel as comfy and cozy as possible. So I really wanted to give this body wash a try. It smells insane, so I'm excited to try that. I also would like to get a couple of new candles. I've had this by Rodo One for so long. I think I bought this, um, it must have been two years ago now, actually. And this is the chai scent. You guys know I love chai lattes. And it's literally hot, it's up to here. Like I've only burnt half of it. It smells insane and I just love their candles so much. And even if you don't burn it, 
it still smells in the room so i'm definitely going to get a few more by rodeo scents they also just look so chic okay back over to h&m home um i really love this vase as i was saying about vases i would like to get a few more that are a little bit different to each other so depending on the flowers i've got i can kind of separate them into different vases i really love this like wide oval shape i think it's really cool kind of gives me like firm living vibes as well with the pleated glass 17.99 is so good so i think i'll be getting that okay another piece of furniture i saw this on h&m home the other day and i actually really love it i often don't particularly like h&m home furniture because i just feel like it's not that original and everyone has it but I actually really like this and it looks quite similar to the desk that I actually already have. Um, the desk is actually in the hallway at the moment but I am going to be revamping the spare room. When my mum came to stay with us I kind of like temporarily sorted it out for her but she's going to be leaving in the next week or so I think. So I want to get that room sorted and actually turn it into my office dressing room, spare room, hybrid. So I know that I'm going to be having loads of friends over over autumn, winter. Because our apartment is so cosy, it's not really the best place to be in the summer. I want to make the most of the new season. So I basically just need to get a new dresser for the hallway. And I thought about just getting like a thin console table, but then I thought it could be good to have something that's got cupboards because I could actually use it for storage. And I just really like this. I think it's really good value for money. Um, it fits so well with our furniture already and I know that this is quite timeless so in our new house I could easily fit this anywhere and it would go. So yeah, I just really like this. If I do end up getting this I will of course include it in a vlog. Um, moving over to some pyjamas. H&M have some really nice pyjamas and I really like these. I like the colour of them and the black edging which I think they look quite chic. Um, I always need new pyjamas autumn winter because I live in them. So $34.99, I think I'm going to be purchasing those. Another pair of pyjamas, the Napco. I love the Napco. I've worked with them um, for years now. And Siobhan has done an amazing job with the Napco. It's incredible that they're stocked in Selfridges. I remember working with her like way back at the beginning when they literally first started. So I'm very proud of them. I actually have these pyjamas in the shorts, but I don't have the trousers. So I would quite like to get the trousers for autumn winter when it's colder. They are so soft and so snuggly and I love them. So I think I'll be getting those. I really need a new pair of leggings because when I'm like at home or running around and like just doing random errands, but I want to wear something comfy, I always opt for my Aldenola leggings. Literally, I'm wearing them right now. But I like to keep these fresh for working out. I do feel like when you wear these Aldenola leggings a lot, they do stretch. And when they, you wash them, they go quite bobbly if you wear them constantly. And it's probably because you're wearing them with jumpers and like coats and things that they're not meant to be worn with. So I want to get some basic cotton leggings. And Nadia's been raving about skims along with everyone else. I think I'm gonna give these a go. They look so nice and just everyone raves about them. So I'm imagining that they are probably really soft and comfortable. And I just think these could be quite good to have for like loungewear, easy days, just throw them on and done with like a big jumper or something. Okay, and finally, this is my last thing. One thing that I would love to get for autumn winter is an Army Paris knitted jumper. You might remember last November I bought my beige one with the red heart and I absolutely love it. I've worn it so much and it's actually the perfect jumper because it's so warm but it also looks really chic. I decided this year I wasn't going to purchase many knitwear pieces. I'm just going to rewear the ones that I have and I have some really gorgeous cashmere jumpers so I don't need any more. I've had this jumper I'm wearing now for literally five years and it's still really nice so i just want to get this one jumper but it is always out of stock and i cannot find it anywhere i thought i'd bring this up just to show you what it looks like um it's round neck cream and then it has the black army paris logo i love it so so much but yeah it's always out of stock and i can't find it anywhere i think i'm gonna have a look on 
Vestia, Depop, eBay, just to see if anyone's selling it because I really want it. And I would also be able to get it um, a little bit cheaper if I did it like that as well, but I just love it. It's so gorgeous. Oh yeah, so I was actually looking on Farfetch and I came across this, which I also love. This is so gorgeous. So if I can't find this jumper uh, secondhand and find it in stock somewhere, then I may potentially get this one because I love this as well. The white detailing is just so gorgeous. And these are things that last so long. I can wear this year on year and it's never gonna go out of style. It's really classic. It's also such good quality. So yeah, just a really nice investment piece to add to my winter collection. Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy into my wish list and my Google Chrome tabs. I am just such a sucker for having tabs open. It's so bad. I really, it probably makes my laptop really slow. I will link all of the pieces that I've mentioned down below in the description box in case you want to have a look at anything yourself. And do let me know if you like this style of video because I will definitely do more or I can show you like how I shop online or you know anything like that just let me know in the comments but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video